Okay, what you are seeing here is blue lines on this one layer, layer, and black lines on the other layer. And then we are going to switch to the channel layer where it reads it as that blue and that black there. But if you click on the blue, you can see the blue almost disappears. And then I, I go into the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the adjustment layers, and I, and I click on levels. You'll see it here as I bring it into the work area. It takes a while for me to get around to it, I guess. So now we're in levels. And I first I make a mistake and grab that node, and then I grab the right node, and you can see the blue just goes away. Now I click that little uh, dotted line circle, and it selects the white, so I have to invert the selection. And once I do that, we have inverted, and uh, we are selecting all the black. Now I go back to layers, and I create myself a new layer. But first, by collecting layers, you see what had been. Now I uh, click a black color, and then I fill, and it's perfect. It's everything that was on the channel that was black is now black on transparency. Now I like black on transparency. You might not. You might want to flatten it as, as I do in the final step. I also add a step here of going back and duplicating the process where I'm uh, just in case it was like faded or something you can uh, go ahead and, and, and just duplicate the process and then add another layer right on top of it and you can uh, add to its density see right now I've basically duplicated the process and if I think it's too dense I can go along with my opacity, bring it down a little bit, but it's just black is all it is. So I just flatten it and call it quits. And that's the tutorial on that. And I think we're about done here. Yes, I'm trying to time this just right. I'm watching it while I do my